science isn't always right. At least that's what people say when they are confronted with a scientific idea that goes against their beliefs or one that they disagree with. But that doesn't mean the science is wrong. Maybe it's them and their beliefs that are wrong. So let's get to the bottom of this and answer the question, is science always right? Welcome to the cool thing about science. I'm Matt Parker. So is science always right? Well, before we can begin to answer this question, let's define a few terms. The first word is right. By right, I will mean factually correct. I will not mean agrees with my beliefs or even morally right. That's a whole nother topic. The other word is science. When people say science isn't always right, I'm going to assume they mean scientists or the scientific consensus and not the search for and method of discovering the truth about the natural world, which is what science is. Now, of course, scientists can be wrong. They are humans after all. They make mistakes. Not to mention science is hard and experiments are difficult. But the good thing about scientists is they understand this. They recognize the possibility that they can be wrong and they accept it. There's even a step in the scientific method that accounts for this. It says, if the results of your experiment do not match your hypothesis, you must revise your hypothesis. That means the original hypothesis was wrong. This is also the reason for the peer review process amongst the scientific community. It gives scientists in the same field of study the opportunity to check one another's work and make sure there's no errors in the data or flaws in the experiment. So yes, yeah, scientists can be wrong. That's no surprise. So what about scientific consensus? Can a majority of the scientific community be wrong? Well, sure. But the chances of that are much lower because of the peer review process. You see, when a scientist discovers or theorizes something, then it gets checked out by many, many other scientists. If their claims hold true, then they'll continue to get checked out. If they do not hold true, then they get rejected. You see, that's how science works. Scientists try to disprove one another's work. They don't try to prove it. That's an impossibility. They try to disprove it, and if they can't, then the level of certainty increases. Hot topics like climate change, evolution, and vaccinations get beat up and tossed around by people outside the scientific community. These are the types of issues that people deny and in reply say, science isn't always right. But they only say that because it goes against something else they believe in. There's no debate about these topics within the scientific community. You never hear people say, the earth is actually flat. Uh, oh wait, maybe that's a bad example. Uh, you never hear people denying the existence of atoms or that germs can cause disease. That's because people only deny the errors of science that go against their beliefs. No, science isn't always right, but the cool thing about science is that it is a self-correcting process. Some of the things we believe to be true today may change in the future. But another cool thing about science is that all it takes to change these truths is evidence that goes against them. Until then, there's no reason to think that science is wrong. Anyone who says that they will never change their mind about an issue, no matter how much evidence is presented or what scientists discover, is a person that isn't afraid of being ignorant. And that's a scary thing. So don't be determined to always think you're right. It's okay to be wrong. Set your opinions aside and look at the facts. Analyze the data and consider all the evidence. Listen to both sides of an issue and make an informed decision. Because we do know that climate change is occurring and humans are playing a large role in it. We do know that evolution occurred even if we don't know all the little details about how it occurred. And we do know that vaccinations do not cause autism. There's absolutely no evidence that contradicts any of these truths. So there you have it. Science isn't always right, but then again, neither are you. And that's okay. It's okay to be wrong as long as you continue to learn. So what did you learn from this video? Did you learn it's okay to be wrong as long as you follow the evidence and continue learning? Did you learn science isn't always right, therefore you should keep disagreeing with the areas of science that go against your beliefs? Or did you learn something else? Either way, leave me a comment below and we can discuss it. And we may even talk about a little thing called confirmation bias. But please, stay curious, keep asking questions, and continue exploring the world around you. Because that's the best way to know what's right. Thanks for watching.